Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, good. Good evening, Luis. Welcome. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Pretty good? Good. All right. Hello, good. Juan Francisco. How are you? Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to today's class. Um, welcome to our first class of the week. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Very good teacher. Oh, good, good. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Uh, what did you do anything interesting, Marvin? In uh, Saturday was my birthday. Oh, okay. And did you go out to celebrate? Yeah, uh, uh, eat my family uh, cake. Uh, you went. Carnita. You went out to celebrate. Or you you celebrate it at home? At home. Oh, at home. Okay. Okay. All right. Um lo lots of like lots of people in the family or just your immediate family? Yeah, uh, immediate family. Uh, only. Okay. All right. That's good. And uh, what about the rest of you? What did you, what did you do on the weekend? I slept at uh, home teacher. You stayed at home, slept a lot. Okay. I oh. work. At... Huh? Sorry, sorry, Juan Francisco. I work. <laughs> I you work. At... Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Well, we we do have to work, right? Unfortunately, we have to work, right? Uh, do you did you work all weekend? Yes. Um, so outside. You outside. You worked all weekend. Uh, so outside, uh, I work. Uh, ah. Normally is Monday, uh, uh, Tuesday. Uh huh. So nor normally you work on from on on. Monday. Huh? Monday, Tuesday. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday too. Yes. Okay, okay. And and uh, on the weekend you 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 normally work on the weekend too? Or just it was this weekend was the exception. Uh um, in a section only Emerson. Mm, okay okay i see all right good okay guys let's um take attendance uh, for today's class okay so we're gonna start with um anna claudia present teacher wonderful andre giovanni present teacher great edgar present teacher all right uh, janet yes. great Fabiola? Present teacher. Great. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. No, I can't see him. No, I guess not, right? Okay. Um, Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Um, Heidi, uh, are you able to turn on the camera? Oh, perfect. Yeah. There we go. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, um, Irene. Irene, 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 no? Irene is not here? No, okay. All right, Josue Alberto. Josue Alberto, no. Okay, Juan Francisco. Right. 
All right, excellent. Thanks, Juan Francisco. Carla. Carla? Carla, not here? Okay. All right, Liliana. Melissa? Present. Wonderful. Okay. I always forget that you like you prefer Melissa and not Liliana. <laughs> okay. Uh, Luis Ernesto? Teacher. Manuel Alejandro? No? Present teacher. Ah, yes, there he is. Okay. Thanks. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. No? Manuel de Jesus? Okay. Uh, Marvin? Present teacher. Wonderful. Wendy. Wendy, 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 not here? No. Wendy is not here. Okay. Werner. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you, Warner. Noemi. Coming home, teacher. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> but I, I always appreciate the fact that you connect. And uh -huh. that's very important. Thank you very much. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Present. Um, All right. <laughs> Yvonne? Present teacher. All right. Uh, are you able to turn on the camera, Yvonne? Yes, teacher. I'm preparing my phone right now. Okay. Are you able to turn on the camera? Um, <laughs> okay, let's go for Daniel de los Santos. Daniel? Daniel is not here? No. Okay. Um, and Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto, no, right? Okay. Marlene? Marlene, Marlene, no, okay, Ricardo, Ricardo, no, not either, okay, bye, okay, uh, just to make sure that I, I didn't miss anybody, okay, people that I didn't hear response from was Francisco Javier, I'm here, oh, wonderful, okay, now you're here, uh, Irene, Irene, no, right? Uh, Josue, Alberto, um, Carla Cano, Manuel de Jesus, Wendy, Daniel, Jorge Alberto, Marlene, and Ricardo. Those people I didn't get a response from, right? No, they're not here. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Um, all right. Before we begin, I wanted to mention something. Um, I took the, I, I took the, I took note of the, um, of the homework on sat on Saturday, just like I had promised, because remember, I told you that you had um, Friday until midnight to be able to complete the, um, um, the, the homework, right? Um, the, the four homework. And uh, I noticed that some people, well, some people even had completed more. Some people had done um, all five exercises, which is great. But um, some people had done four, which is perfect. That's exactly the amount that you need to do. But other people hadn't completed any, um, hadn't he either completed only a little bit, like maybe one or two exercises, and other people didn't complete anything at all. So um, I'm going to remind you guys, today is the last day that you, um, that you need to be up to date with your, um, with your homework until um, homework number five, okay? So I'm just going to say this um, 
uh, like I'm going to say this um, so that everybody remembers. I'm going to say it in Spanish so it's all clear. Acuérdense que hoy se cumple la clase número 5 y por lo tanto tienen que haber cumplido con los cinco, las cinco um, tareas eh, de las cinco tareas de, um, de la plataforma. Entonces tienen que haber hecho la tarea número uno, dos, tres, cuatro y cinco hasta el día de hoy. Entonces mañana nuevamente voy a revisar. Espero que todos estén ya al 100% porque como les decía, hay personas que uh, vi que mm, habían hecho parte de la tarea, pero no completa y otros que no habían hecho nada. Entonces, uh, por favor, um, pongamos al día con eso. Okay. Any questions? No, teacher. Okay. Yo tengo una pregunta. I just have a question. I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, so you will be uploading every uh, every five, the, the, uh, five classes, all the information to the platform, or you will be uploading the information every Friday? No, um, you have until the end of each Friday to complete the exercises. Um, and then on Saturday, I upload the information. Oh, okay. So uh, my question is, so for example, this coming Saturday, you will be uploading the activity for the homework for lesson number five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, 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 no. no. The, the homework is there. The homework uh -huh. is already there. Uh -huh. um, have, have you have you seen the platform? Yes, yes, ma'am. And I just made, uh, for example, I just made uh, one, two, four because at the end of the class, I take three, four minutes to complete it. So today you will be uploading the whole week lessons from uh, the homework from one to five. I, I'm but not sure question, that. Uh, Ana Claudia, have you been doing the homework? Um, every class? Yes, yes. Yes, I was doing every every homework. So today uh, is our class number five, right? The fifth class. Right, right. So uh, uh, my question is, uh, I don't understand uh, if uh, you will be, uh, every Friday you will be uploading or, or sending the information to whom it may concern or every class number five. For example, you will be uploading the information from class number one to five every Monday. And then a class no. six, seven, eight. No, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe um, I haven't explained myself correctly. I need to report mm -hmm. your grades to administration. Mm -hmm. Okay, every Saturday I need to report them. Ah, okay. Okay. So what I have to do is I have to go in and check the the notebook, let's say, of all of your homework, all of the class. I take it and then I transfer the 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 grades that you have to the um, the document that I need to send to administration. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. On Saturday. Ah, okay. So yeah. if I made the one to four, I'm okay. Because yes. ah, okay. I'm, I'm just a little concerned, uh, Anna Claudia, because you're saying that you've done the homework and I can't see the reflected in the notebook. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm a little see. concerned for you. Uh, uh, if let, I look my progress, for example, uh, I'm going to the unit one. Okay, just give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, okay. I can show you. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to share my screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please, so you can see it. Uh -huh. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. So this is a platform, right? Mm -hmm, okay, so mm -hmm. here we are in section number one, manufacturing. Correct. Okay, so I, I click on that and then we're going to open up the exercises. Okay, so here we have 
here's video number one of the first exactly. class. And here is the first homework. Exactly. Okay. So you Yes, I made that. You've done this? Exactly. And I got my progress here. Huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I, I made the number one, number two, yeah, here's three and four. Two, uh -huh. Then here's three. Here's mm -hmm. number four. Everybody should have been up to here. That's what I asked. Exactly. And I have 80%. And then over here today, you should have, uh, you should be doing um, number yeah, five. Exactly. Uh huh. Hmm. It's well, not reflected on your end because no, it's I can send you on a screenshot. Please, please do that. Okay. Um, do you, I'm going to send it at the end of the class if you want. Yeah, you can send it to me. Uh, if you want, you can send it to me. Um, to your email or I don't know, you tell no, me. No, um, in the chat, it's fine. You can, you can do it through the chat. Um, just make sure that, uh -huh, that, uh, okay. that we can see clearly the screenshot, um, even with- Do you want it one by one or just the one that shows no, the no, no, progress? No, no. Just the, the one that shows the progress is fine. Oh, okay. Then, okay. Uh, make sure that, it, that we can see the, the time and the date. Okay? Oh, right. Okay. That because okay. for some reason it's not showing up. Show it on your end. Okay. 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 Right. I will do it. Teacher, right. how can we know who's having the same problem? Uh huh. Because I'm, uh, I, I, I think that I already did the five. <laughs> uh, I the will. Five okay. exam. I will. I will send you during the class. I will send um, the people that I don't see anything from. I will send you a little private message. And um, now there are some people that did it, but they. Like I said, it's not complete. Maybe they only got like 20%, which tells me that they only did one, one, home, one, um, one piece of homework, right? Only for one day. If you got 20%, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you only did one, um, home, one piece of homework because um, if you did all five, that would mean that you only got 4% in each one. So that doesn't make sense. So um, I, other than that, like I will send it only to the people that um, I see zero from. And um, if you don't receive one, if you don't miss, receive a message, it's because you're okay. All right? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Uh, okay, guys. So, um, all right. So let's begin our class. Um, let me see, um, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. So this is a beginner module five. It's unit one, which is manufacturing. This is the end of our unit actually. And today is Monday, April 19th, 2021. I can't believe April has almost gone. This is, you know, I feel like I just started April and now I'm almost saying goodbye to it. And um, say number five, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so guys, um, I asked you to do for homework um, the sentences. Well, actually, I it was it was part homework part um, in class right remember i asked you guys to complete the six the six um the six sentences right um using the sh um the should and shouldn't and um and then so what we're going to do now is this, go to the breakout room the teacher assigns you work in small groups present the information from the paragraph you wrote on friday about the equipment at your company Remember, we did this on Friday, and I, I gave you a chance to, to write it, and I told you if you hadn't finished, then you can finish that up the week, on the weekend, right? And then we're going to share with the class. All right? Sounds good? Yeah? All right. Okay, so let me assign you in your groups. Let's see, I have 16 participants. So I'll get you guys to work in groups of four. Um, let me just, just give me a second here.
one second. Okay, um, so it should not take, I I'm gonna give you guys, I would say 10 minutes, okay? Um, so there are gonna be four of you in the group. So I think that about two minutes approximately per, um, per uh, participant will be enough, you know, for you guys to, to, um, to explain. And then we can have a little bit of questions as well. Um, you can, so don't just, don't just sit there listening to our classmate and then read yours. That's too boring. I want conversation. So if you want, like if your partner says something about a machine, you say, oh, uh, we have that machine at my workplace too, right? Or really, that's so cool. I didn't know you had that, right? Give some sort of comment, right? So that we actually have an opportunity of, you know, using the language and practicing, okay? Oh, wait a second. I just got more participants. So I'm going to have to recreate the groups. Just give me a moment. Okay. Get you guys to work in groups of five. Sorry, if I have group, no, groups of three and four. Okay, um, just a second. Um, okay, so everybody's clear on what we're going to be doing? No. No? No. Okay, on Friday, I asked you guys to write a conversation, sorry, not come, sorry, um, sentences about the machinery at your workplace. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just in case you don't, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this was what we what we did on Friday, right? Okay, and I asked you write a six line paragraph about the equipment at your work at your company. You should and should not. Do you remember this instruction? Yeah, everybody remembers this that we did on Friday. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to. Go to your groups and you're going to share the information with your with your classmate but don't just limit yourself to sharing i want you to also ask questions have a conversation that's why i'm getting you guys to work in groups right um so that you have that opportunity uh, small groups to be able to have the opportunity of asking questions sharing and building up your conversation skills okay all right, so let's open up the groups. You can go ahead and join your group. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Miss. Hi, teacher. Oh, is it just the three of us, Miss? Yeah, um, que raro. No, es que, estaba, es que vi que había un, un Galaxy J7 que había entrado. Yes. <laughs> lo, lo, anda, lo andaba siguiendo. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. <laughs> yes, it's a ghost. <laughs> yes, I was actually going to ask them to who they were and then whoops, they disappeared. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right, guys. Um, any questions of what you're going to be doing? No, I guess we are ready. You're ready. Okay, perfect. Okay, go ahead, talk to your classmates. And if you need any help, I'll come over. Okay, just ask for the help. Okay, miss. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Welcome. Now go ahead, Juan Francisco. Hi, girls. Hi, Lillian. Hi, teacher. Um, only the two of you? No, Irene is having some problems with the with the microphone or with the audio oh. because she said that it's raining in his house and he can oh. she can she can hear, hear us. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, because I thought, yeah, so that's yeah. Okay. She will she will connect in a few minutes. Okay, okay. Uh, in the um, meantime, you can go ahead and share your ideas. I, I have a question, teacher. How do you say, well, in my company, we have a, a machine that forms tetra packs. Like uh, that what? Tetra pack. It's like um, the carton of the milk. Uh huh. Do you remember when the milk, well, those pinos and milk like that comes in a, in a, Carton. Uh -huh. Tiene un cartón, entonces eso se llama tetrapack. Tetra Ajá. So in English it's the same. Is tetrapack? That, that's a good question. I actually that's new for me. I I, I don't know. Um, I would imagine that it is, uh, oh. but um, yeah, apparently it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So that's the, the machine that we have in the company, a tetra pack machine. And it's supposedly to work I, uh, the whole year, but it really works only 60 to 90 days per year. So it's, I think it's misused because we can have another kind of product in that kind of package. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Sounds good. Well, go ahead and um, yes. Um, talk to um to Noemi about it. And if you yeah. guys have any questions, I'll come over. Just ask. Okay. Help, and I'll come over. Okay. Perfect. Thank all you. All right. You're welcome. So Noemi, that's the the machine that we have in the. What's graded? Okay. Okay. We have to use, we should use uh, alcohol and stuff water. Alcohol. Alcohol and the yeah. mask to due to the pandemic to reduce the risk of the contagiado, como se dice? The... Um, teacher, how do you say contagiado? Infect. Infected. Infected. Okay. Infected. And alcohol gel? Alcohol. Alcohol gel. Alcohol gel. Alcohol gel. Okay. Another one, Edgar. Don't Sorry, not. I, 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 I. No lo, no, 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 no lo he elaborado todavía. En eso estaba, sí. Sorry. Okay, just and think it, about uh, on Friday you didn't do anything at all. You didn't do anything? No, teacher. No? No. I just said porque es que el viernes estaba. Ese día fue. Ah, sí, verdad. Es que estaba con el problema del trabajo, entonces no. No, no, no. 
Yeah, because we did a little bit of it in class, and then I told everybody if you were not finished, you could do it. Um, you you can do it all for homework. Uh, okay. Okay. okay well um you but you can you can um you know even if you didn't do it if you didn't write it think about what things you could say be um uh be spontaneous and mm -hmm. uh, try to figure out what 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 could you say Sorry, es que me, esto, me, me desconecté. What, what machines exist in your workplace? What is the machine? Are all the machines that exist where you, where you work? Or equipment. Oh, okay. okay. The, 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 kit, the equipment in the, in, the, in the plant is, uh, uh, no sé cómo decirlo, uh, es una máquina en la planta, es, Desplumadora, ¿cómo se podría decir? Feather plucker. ¿Qué? <laughs> It's a feather plucker. Oh, feather okay. How do you write it? Plucker. <laughs> plucker? Uh, no, hold on. It, no. Yeah. No, well, actually, it's not. it would not be a feather plucker. It would be more of a chicken plucker. Chicken plucker, okay. Plucker. Um, I know, que feo. Oh my God. Es que, sí, um, es, es que uh, la, la, lo, 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 el, the first, el, the first, el, el proceso inicia desde que el, el pollo ingresa a la, a la cadena y lo, y lo hacen, este, uh, le tiran una descarga eléctrica y luego lo... Ah, esa es una desplumadora, ya. Yeah. 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 Chicken plucker. Chicken plucker. Oh, plucker. Okay. Plucker. Plucker. Yeah, I'll write in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, ya cuando el. L U C K. Sí, es que está, cuando está cuando está buscando fotos. <laughs> una foto un poco rara. De pollos desnudos. <laughs> eh, pr prácticamente eso. Ay no. <laughs> <laughs> ya luego lo ya luego lo vemos en, ya en el supermercado en una en sí. bandejas no, y todo eso. Yo lo, o sea, lo que yo me como yo no puedo verlo vivo. Yo definitivamente no lo puedo ver. <laughs> Para mí como dicen el animal y la comida son completamente <laughs> Yes. I wrote the I wrote the um the word in the chat. Okay. 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 All right. Are you guys finished? Or do you need more time? Teacher, in my case, I I talk or I use the uh, safe implement we I use in the work, but the machines is. Is no complicated. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So, guys, um, I will see you guys um, in the, the main room in a moment. Okay. So, you have like a, about a minute left, and then I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yeah. Uh, I read one sentence. Okay. I sure I shouldn't work without a safer best. Is correct? Yeah, very good. Okay, Shouldn't thanks. Work without a safety vest. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, teacher. Okay. Que don trabajo So, two people Using the same sewing machine or, or what? Sewing machine, that's it. Ah, okay. But two people, two people working on the same sewing machine? I, I have a, I have a people uh, in my church, cargo in my church. Uh, I 
supervise the the soul, the production, the garment, the garment has a eyes. Mm -hmm. I supervise the production of the garments with the efficiency and quality. Ah, okay. Or planificate, or planificate the, the new hires. So you train the new hire. Hires. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. I'm, I'm an engineer of, of Spanish. Ah, okay. But the same as, as Werner said that Okay, wonderful. So I think I have almost everybody. He perdido algunos en el camino, como que quizás el clima no nos está favoreciendo ahí la conexión de algunos. Okay, so anyway, um, okay, so everybody has uh, finished and they, you all were able to share your sentences. Yes? Okay, yes. questions? No. No? Okay. All right. I'm going to choose different people randomly uh, for you to give me um, an answer. Okay. Uh, um, okay. So let's hear Katie. Katie, you want to share with us your paragraph? Sure. Uh, we should have the best equipment at the bank. We should buy the most modern scanners, money counter machines, and we should have the most modern laptops and PCs, cutting edge technology so that we can prevent hackers from invading our systems, and we shouldn't use any old equipment. Very good, excellent. I love um, that you use, um, you, you used a very good vocabulary, right? Um, and um, yeah, you, you did a very good job, excellent. Any questions about um, the vocabulary that Haiti used? Not teacher. No. Okay, all right, good. Um, let's have a... Let's see. Um, Melissa, Melissa, can you share with us? Yeah. Um, the Tetra Pak machine should be optimized by the production of new products in this kind of package. This machinery, machinery, machinery <laughs> should work at least 250 days per year, but in this moment, it's only working 60 to 90 days per year. Okay, good, excellent, very, very good. Okay, very good. Any questions? Questions so far? No? Not teacher. Okay, very good. Um, okay, so how do you feel about the use of should and shouldn't? How do you feel about the use of should and shouldn't? Now I understand it better than in the past that because I always use it like it's a polite way to ask for something. Now I know that it's not just a use for that. Okay. Okay. My end, it's okay. I don't know the rest. 
Okay, good, good, good. So it's now clear for you when to use um, should and shouldn't. Yeah, okay. So basically, should and sh should and shouldn't is used for advice or recommendation, okay? What you're saying is, it's a good idea. For me, it's a good idea. If you say should, you're saying it's a good idea. It's like when you say in Spanish, deberías, o deberíamos, o debería yo, ¿verdad? Okay. And then shouldn't is the opposite. You're saying it's not a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. To give you an example, um, you should drink a lot of water with this heat. Yeah, right now it's very hot. So you should drink a lot of water. It's a good idea to drink a lot of water. It's, you're saying it's a, it's a, it's, this is a recommendation, right? It's a good idea, right? Shouldn't. Uh, for example, um, it, you shouldn't eat a lot of candy. It's not good for your health or your teeth. Okay? Yeah. Shouldn't. It means it's not a good idea. Okay? Does that sound good? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Any questions? No. No, for the moment. Okay. Uh, all right, great. So let's move on to the next part. Um, okay. Um, let me see. Tell, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint presentation. Not right now. Okay. What about now? Yes, we can. Okay, good. All right, so we already did this part. So now let's, um, let's work on our conversation. Okay, so here we have a conversation between these two guys that are at work and their names are John and Ben, okay? So John and Ben are at, um, at uh, the chocolate factory. Okay. Um, they, we continue talking about chocolate, okay? So they're at the chocolate factory and they're talking about, you know, their, the inventory and all of the things that have to do with the chocolate. So let's follow their conversation. Again, just like before, uh, you can follow, uh, re you can, you can um, um, repeat after me. We are very busy, sorry, we were very busy yesterday. We were, we were very, very busy, busy yesterday. yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We had a lot of customers. We did. We did. We did. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. I, I think, think we, we need, need to our inventory. Our inventory. Our inventory. Yes. 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 We don't have enough quality, sorry, quantity. We don't have, we don't have, have enough, enough quantity, quantity of chocolate caramel. Of chocolate, chocolate caramel. caramel. No, notice this is this word is here is not caramel. It's not caramel. It's caramel. 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 What was our inventory turnover? What was our inventory turnover? For chocolate caramel. For chocolate, chocolate caramel. 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 caramel, caramel, right? Remember, caramel, not caramel, 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 caramel. caramel. Okay. What about the cost? What about the, what about the, cost? the cost? Right now, it's three. Right, right now, right now is three for this year. For this year. 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 And the cost is thirty dollars. 
and, and the cost is cost three dollars dollars per unit. Per unit. Per unit. Per unit. Per unit. That's great. That's, That's great. 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 All right. Very good. Excellent, guys. Bravo. Very good. Okay. Any questions about um, the pronunciation of these words? Uh, inventory turnover. Is that correct? Inventory yeah. turnover? Uh -huh. Very good. Inventory turnover. Turnover. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Anything else? Teacher. Yeah. In, in this case, what is the mean the turnover? Okay, we're going to get into the vocabulary in a moment, but right now I just want to know about, uh, about the pronunciation. pronunciation. Let's talk about the first pronunciation. Do you have any questions about the pronunciation? And out. Esto está bien mojado. And out. Can you pronounce chocolate again? Chocolate. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, yes, the word is chocolate. 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 Remember, it's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. It's chocolate. 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 Lit. Lit. Chocolate. chocolate. Okay. Um, and the other was caramel, you say with yes, like very good. <laughs> yes, very good. Caramel. Exactly. Care. Caramel, not cara. It's not cara, but caramel. Caramel. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other vocabulary? No? Okay. All right. So let's talk about vocabulary here. Now let's go on to the vocabulary, the meaning of vocabulary. Any words you don't understand? I see two of them because uh, with the usage of stock or inventory, stock, I don't know if I'm wrong, is like putting, organizing <laughs> things. I don't know if I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's uh, stock the inventory and the other is inventory turnover. Okay. Uh, so stock and inventory? Uh -huh. Stock inventory. Uh -huh. All right. And the other is inventory turnover. All right. Anything else? Any other vocabulary you don't understand, class? No? Okay. All right, let's talk about stock. Uh, we'll go in, in, in order. The word stock refers to um, the amount of product that you save in a place, in a store, that is available uh, to be purchased. Okay? So, uh, to give you an example, you go to a shoe store. Okay? You go to a shoe store and um, you see a particular shoe that you like, but the shoe um, you can, is not in your size. You need a size eight and um, the shoe is only a size five or a size six. And so the lady or the, the guy that, um, that um, the salesperson, right? that um, comes over and helps you, says, okay, I'm going to go in the back to see if we have some in stock. To have some in stock means the amount of product that is saved to be able to purchase. So okay. they're saying, okay, that's, that's, that's the, the same shoe. We have it in the back. We have mm -hmm. the same, we have many, many um, different shoe sizes that are available. Let me see if we have, the size you want in the back. And that's the stock. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. But in this case, how, when they use the stock, the inventory is put it uh, on the, uh, at the store? 
No, no, no. no I understand no. that okay. it's like a bastecer in Spanish. Yes, it's kind of. Sí, el stock, yo lo entiendo que es lo que es el inventario, pero uh -huh. el uso de stock or inventory es yeah. ellos necesitan sacar ese producto para afuera. No, 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 no. It means that you're going to save it in a place, like usually uh, in a warehouse. To let, ah, so okay. let's, let's put it all together so we know how many um, of this product okay. we have saved up and how much of this product we have saved up. Okay, that's stock like, inventory. Okay. And you, you understand the word inventory, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yes, very yes, inventory. Very, very sí, el inventario, el uh -huh. inventario. Yeah. Es que yo pensé que eso era hacer el inventario, esa, esa, esa actividad. Pero es en stock este caso, inventario. perdón. Perdón. Yeah. En este caso yo creería que uh, need to stock our inventory significa nivelar el inventario. Digamos, tenemos un producto, una cantidad mínima y tenemos una cantidad máxima. Entonces, ¿qué diría? yo diría que sería como nivelarlo. O sea, poner al, a la cantidad máxima que necesitamos a la cantidad mínima en el caso que estemos desabastecidos, ¿no? O algo así. Pienso. No sé si estoy um, en lo correcto. O... Um, yes and no. It means, okay, what it means is, um, yeah, it, it means that you have, um, that you have enough product, right, to put, you save the product, enough of the product in the, um, in, in the warehouse, right? Yeah, so that we have, so you make sure that you have enough of each product to, to, to sell, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, if you, um, you have, let's talk, talking about the shoes, right? So you have the, um, you have a particular shoe, you wanna make sure that you have enough shoe sizes, right? So you don't wanna have, um, you know, just, like you don't have you don't want to have 10 size 5 and one size 8 for example you want to have enough product saved up so that you are able to offer that product i got it now okay i got it. yes yeah stock the inventory i got it now yeah mm -hmm. okay remember that this is a verb Mm -hmm. Right. In this case, it's a verb. We stock can be either a verb or a noun. And in this case, we're using stock as a um, yeah. as a verb. Right. To stock. stock. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Any. Uh, okay. So this is clear, right? To stock the invent mm -hmm. our inventory. It's all clear for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Yes, for me, it's clear. Okay, good. All right, let's talk about the inventory turnover. The inventory turnover means, think about all of the inventory that we have. Um, so the ideally, well, like if, we, if I'm work, if I have a store, my purpose is to be able to, to um, sell all my inventory. Right? Yes. That, that's what I want. I want to be able to sell all of the inventory that I have. Because the more I, I'm, I sell the inventory, the more money I make. So whenever you have, you have to get new product because the inventory is already sold out, that amount of, uh, that, the amount of times that you have to restock the inventory that's what's called the inventory turnover. Oh. And it's done in a period of time. To give an example, let's say I'm going to sell, I'm selling makeup, okay? All right, so I have this product, this powder, and I want to have enough of this product to sell. So I order maybe, I don't know, 20 of these products, okay? Mm -hmm. Every time I finish those 20 powders and I need to order more, mm -hmm. right? To be able to stock them, that's an inventory turnover because I have finished all of the things that are, all of the powder that is, avail that is available and I need to order more so that I can sell again. Now, maybe in a period of six months, I may have three 
inventory turnovers. That means that three times that I have to order again because my inventory is finished. Correct. Does that make sense? Yes. So everything is clear for everybody? Yeah, it's all clear. Any questions? Your teacher. Okay, great. So again, what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get you to guys to work in pairs, practice the conversation, practice the practice some um, the pronunciation, but also practice fluency. Okay, I want you to concentrate on fluency because what I need you to make sure is that you're not just saying the words, but you're actually making it flow. Okay, so it, it should sound very natural. So I don't want you guys to speak English choppy. I want you guys to be very natural and flow, just like, like you speak Spanish, okay? Um, so, oh, but before we do that, um, let me take our attendance because it's almost nine o'clock. Um, give me a moment. My goodness, time's flying. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm telling you, like, well, yeah. It just flies and it flies and can never catch it. Um, okay. All right, guys. So let's see. Um, Okay. All right. So here we go. So, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. All right. Um, Edgar. Present teacher. Great. Um, Janet. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Great. Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Francisco, Javier. Present. All right. Heidi. Present. Okay, great. Irene. Present. All right. Eh, Josué Alberto. Josué Alberto. No. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco. We can't hear you, Juan Francisco, I don't know. I don't know why. Mm, nope. No. Oh, okay, yeah, now we can. Let's talk again. Talk again, Juan Francisco, open your microphone. Le oímos, pero como que no está muy claro, no sé, tal vez será el micrófono ahí, tal vez hay, hay, hay que desconectarlo y poner, poner, tal vez eso ayuda, I don't know. You can try that. Just for the future. Sure. Ah, okay. Now we can hear you. Okay. All right. Carla. Present. Wonderful. Uh, Melissa. Present teacher. All right. Um, Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. All right. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Not here. Oh, uh, no le oímos. Ya lo vi, pero ya no le oímos. Okay. 
o no sé si es que yo estoy teniendo, no, pero creo que el micrófono está apagado. Ok. Solo quiero asegurarme que si no. Present. Ok, good, good. Ok, good. Let's continue. Um, Marvin. Present, teacher. Ray. Wendy. Wendy. Wendy is not here? Ok. Uh, chicos, ¿me pueden todavía escuchar? Yes, teacher. Porque ahorita se me ha venido la tormenta y está cayendo fuerte. Solo quiero asegurarme que se oiga. Yes, teacher. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. All right, yes, teacher. All right good. Uh, yes, Werner. Present, teacher. Ray. Noemi. Present. Okay. Noemi, any problems with the camera? No. No? Ah, ok, ok, great. Excellent. Uh, no, Yvonne. Present. Great. Daniel. Present, teacher. Ok. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto, no. Ok. Uh, Marlene. Marlene. No. Ok. Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo. No. Ok. Bye. Uh, acabo de ver a alguien que no sé si acaba de entrar. Josué. Sí, la teacher, I was there because I went to San Salvador and it's raining in the road. Ok. Yeah, I just saw you right now. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, so guys, I'm going to get you to work in pairs right now. I'm gonna get you to, I'm going to open up the breakout rooms. Give me a moment, give me a moment. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to open up the rooms and go ahead, join your group. Teacher, toqué fuera de, del break room y ya no me parece. Any problems, guys? Problems? Irene, ¿tiene algún problema para, para ir al grupo? Irene, ¿tiene algún problema? problems? Irene. We were we were very busy yesterday. We have a lot of customers. 
Um, we did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? What about the cost? No, it's your part. Uh, right now it's free for this year and the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. <clears throat> okay. Okay, yo. Uh, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop. Yes, we don't have enough one eating of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate car caramel? What about the cost? Right now is three for the year, and the cost is twenty dollars per unit. That's great. Remember, it's caramel. Care. Caramel. Car. Caramel. Care. Care. Teacher. Caramel. Yeah. Coron. Eh, quiero ver, quiero ver. Coron. Quantity o quantity? Quantity. Quantity. Ah, quantity. Eh, no quantity. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay perfect. Teacher. Yeah. It's caramel. Care. Care. Caramel. Care. I como, como yeah. la palabra take care. Exactly. Caramel. 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 Okay. I got it. Okay. Good. All right. Continue practicing. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. Okay. Manuel, if you want, we can change the. We can. We have a lot. A lot of questions. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's free for this year. And okay. we're ready, me. You practice? Teacher. Yes, twice. Times? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Any problems with the pronunciation, the fluency? Um, no, I think it's OK. Really. OK, OK. Yes. All right. So I'll see you guys in the main room, OK? OK. OK. Okay, how'd you guys feel? Did you, were you able to uh, read the conversation with no problem? Did you have any problems with the pronunciation? Um, any questions still about pronunciation or vocabulary? Okay, all right, in that case, guys, I'm going to ask volunteers to help us read the conversation okay so um who would like uh, to help how how can i pronounce caramelo because caramel okay good yeah the, um, that is a word that i've noticed people are having trouble with which is caramel not caramel, caramel car no it's caramel think of the word like yeah. take care for example take care caramel yeah. Caramel. And inventory. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Three. Thanks, teacher. Anything else? Um, teacher, is yeah. quantity? Quantity, yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No? Okay. All right. So in that case, let's move on to the next activity. So after reading our conversation, let's talk about vocabulary. Okay. So here we have our vocabulary. We have the word cost, inventory, turnover, stock, quantity. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Should be inventory, stock, quantity, and oh no, sorry, inventory, turnover, stock, quantity, and inventory. So these two go together. Okay, and then so cost, inventory, turnover, stock, quantity, and inventory. You understand this vocabulary? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So we have some vocabulary here. So we have um so we have here some definitions. What I want you to do is complete the definition with one of these words to so this individual. Okay. Okay. How are you doing, guys? Almost finished? Yes, teacher, finished. Yeah, anything else? Are you guys ready now? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right, so I'm going to get you guys to work in your same group or, or with the same partner, and I want you to compare your answers with your partner, okay? So let's go back. So everybody's finished, right? Anybody need more time? Yes. Anybody need more time, no? So again, I'm going to open up the groups, um, the same partner that you had, and I want you to um, to try to identify, uh, to share your answers and identify if you are able to have the same answer or you have a different answer with your partner. Okay, so let's open up the groups. <clears throat>
Um, okay, um, Irene. Um, quiero ver, la voy a asignar ahorita. Hello. No. Hi. Okay, ¿no la asignado? No. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, Francisco, you there? Francisco Javier? No. Ajá. ¿Cuánto iría la primera? Try to keep it in English, remember. And inventory is number two. Yvonne, are you having any problems with the camera? And no. No, um, is no. it possible to, yeah, there you go. Oh, I see. Yeah. Ah, está en el celular. Sí. Será, tal vez es cuando se va para otra página. Cuando se va a otra página, creo que se le, se le apaga la cámara. Mm -hmm. Ok. Sí, sí, creo que eso es. Ok, all right. All right, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, teacher. Um, teacher. Hi. Number. I invited you. Yeah, and I accepted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number one, a particular a particular amount of anything. What do you think? Quantity. 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 Do you guys have any problems? Any questions you want to ask me? Uh, we, we don't understand that uh, what can be do it, but, but I, I think that, uh, you don't understand what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Can you explain this, please? You are, you are matching the vocabulary with the definitions. Okay. okay. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Number one, quantity. Quantity. Okay. Number two, a complete listing of merchandise or stuff on hand. Sí. We're ready, Miss. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. You ready? Yes, we're yes. ready. Okay. All right. Did you have the same answer? The same yes. answer. Yeah. Good. Yes, yes, teacher. Is it raining a lot where you are? Not yet, but I can but feel it's, it's coming. Coming, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, for me, it came, it was quite hard, and now it's gone. I don't know. It's, it's a weird. It was fast. Yeah, and then I'm seeing other class, uh, other co workers. Um, they're, the lights, the, their, their energy has gone out. If there's been a power uh, outage. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's affected different places. Can, can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh -huh. What's the name of your cat? What's the meaning of what? The, the name of your cat. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have seen your cat. Yeah. Um, sorry. Yeah, they, <laughs> they like that. Yeah. that so um this one is called Minina. Minina. Hmm. And I had one called Monina. What? I had a, a cat a long time ago called Monina. Oh Monina. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay. Yeah, this one's called This Mina. is mine. Oh, oh so cute. <laughs> Look at that. 
What's his name or her name? Her, her name is Aria. Aria. Oh, that's a cute yeah. name. I like that. Aria. Yes. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah. So, so Heidi, you don't have any more cats? Yeah, I do. Oh, I have do. a He was around here, but he don't have. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I need another question, Miss. Sorry. Uh, I was I was working on homework number six, and there's an answer that I think is is correct, but the system doesn't take it like correct. Okay. And I tried a lot of times with the period without the period, capital letter without capital letter, and okay. the same. Do me a favor then. Send mm -hmm. send a, a picture, um, a screenshot mm -hmm. of that answer so I can tell you what's the problem. Okay, so okay. Send, it to, to, send it to the group. Okay, and, and write be, below it, write exercise number six. Mm -hmm. or, sorry, or homework, homework number six. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I will tell you what's yeah. the problem. Okay, okay. all right. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome back. Let's uh, check our answers. Okay. All right, so let's check the answers that we have here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna ask you guys to give me your answer. Um, so we'll have Carla. Carla, can you help me with number one? Yeah, teacher, is quantity? Quantity. Okay. All right, so for Carla, quantity is a particular amount of something. Okay. Um, all right. Number two, um, let's have Manuel de Jesus. Inventory. Okay. So Manuel de Jesus says that inventory is a complete listing of merchandise or stock on hand. Okay. Let's um, hear Marvin. Number three. Uh, the cost. All right. So Marvin says the cost is the price paid to get something. Okay, all right, let's have um, Juan Francisco help us with number four. Inventory for Robert. Okay, so Juan Francisco says it's inventory turn over is the number of times a company sells its inventory a year. Okay. And number six, we'll have uh, Daniel. Daniel, help us with number six. Number five, is it? Is it sorry, number, sorry, number five. <laughs> it's okay, um, it's stuck. Okay, so Daniel says that stock is to get uh, more product in the inventory. In this case, it's actually like I told you, it's not just stock, it's to stock, right? Because we're, it's a verb, right? To stock. Okay, so do you guys agree with um, these answers? Or is there anything you would like to change about this, these answers? I agree. Agree. Yeah? Okay, anybody want to change something? 
Podría ser um, en el item 1, cambiar inventario por cantidad. You want to tell me that in English? Okay, it can be quantity and, uh, and the item 2, uh, chance it and inventory for item 1. Okay, so, you, so Francisco says that inventory is a particular amount of anything and quantity is a complete listing of merchandise or stock on hand. Is that correct, Francisco? Yeah, I think. Okay. What do you guys think about that? Uh, in number two, I think it's stock because it's a stock on your hands, uh, the merchandising. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm going to tell you something. For number one, quantity is a particular amount of anything. For number two, inventory is a complete list in a merchandise or stock on hand. And cost is the price paid to get something. The inventory turnover is the amount of times a company sells its inventory a year. And finally, um, to stock is to get more product in the inventory. So you guys were right. So okay. they are correct. Any questions? Well, teacher, from the yeah. pronunciation, the merchant, merchantist number two. Okay, yeah, that's a good question. Um, all right, so the question is, what is the pronunciation of what is it? this word right here? Okay, hold on, just give me a second, let me a little bit less thick. Okay, so mer the word here is, okay, so the word, uh, the, pr the pronunciation of this word is merchandise. Okay, repeat that af after me, merchandise. 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 Very good, merchandise. merchandise. Okay. And we understand the word merchandise, right? Merchandise. What is merchandise? Mercancia. Uh huh. Mercancia. Yeah, mm -hmm. Good. So basically, it's the products that are available to to sell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's stop. Um, I'm just gonna stop sharing and put it again because it's easier to erase that way. Okay, so here we are uh, with the first one. Okay, so here we have a chart um, with the types. There are four. Remember, we are at. A, we're talking about chocolate here. So here we have four different chocolates. The first one is the spicy peanut toffee. Okay, so I'm gonna need a volunteer to help me read about the spicy peanut toffee. Who can help me read that? Tammy. Okay, go for it. Uh, spicy peanut toffee. Our spicy peanut toffee is made with butter toffee, roasted peanuts, and kijen and kijen chili pepper. <laughs> chili pepper. Spicy peanut toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, um, this is actually, uh, just give me a moment. Okay, this word here, the, the word is actually toffee. 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 Yeah, it, think of it like coffee, except with a T. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, yeah, and um, yeah, so this is toffee. Uh, all right, any any questions about the vocabulary? Yeah, I have a question for vocabulary. Uh, what does it mean, Kajen? Mm -hmm. What does what mean? Kajen, or I don't know <laughs> how to pronounce it. Oh, cayenne chili pepper. This? 
Yes, that. Um, it's a type of hot pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know in Spanish. Oh, just give me a second. Um, cayenne, cayenne, I will. It's in Spanish, like, yeah, cayenne, pimienta de cayenne. Pimienta de cayenne, así lo he escuchado yo. Uh -huh. So it's a type, it's a type of hot Como pepper. Como un condimento. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other vocabulary that you don't understand? Yes, teacher. What is the correct pronunciation? Roasted? Pronunciation? Pronunciation, excuse me. Roasted. Yeah, the word is roasted. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No? Okay. All right, let's uh, move on to the next one then. I need a volunteer to help me read about the turtle candies. Who wants to read about the turtle candies? Me, teacher. Okay, go for it, Marvin. Turtle candies. Box size starting with six pieces, rich, buttery, caramel, fresh, roasted, pecans, dark or milk chocolate. Thank you, Marvin. All right. Questions about vocabulary here. Fresh roast pecans. 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 What does it mean? Fresh roast pecans. Pecans. Pecans is a type of nut. Okay. Pecanas. Exactly. Pecanas. Yeah. So it's a type of nut. Do, have you ever? Have you? Do you know pecanas? No, teacher. No. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Uh, picture. It'll, it's easier if I show you the picture. It's a type of nut, though. Una nuez. Mm. Oh. It's a type of nut. Um, everybody likes different things, but for me personally, I love pecans. So they're really delicious, I think. Here. Um, there you go. Those are pecans. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What else? What else? Other than the pecans, what are the words? No. Just the pecans. Those are only pecans. Buttery, buttery is like a creamy or. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Buttery, kind of like creamy, but more creamy. Creamy is more because of the milk, and buttery is more because of the butter. Okay? Thanks, teacher. Anything else? No? Okay, let's move on to the next one. I, uh, I need a volunteer to help me with the next one. With chocolate covered caramel. Yes, caramel. 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 Caramels. Caramels. Okay, so who can help me? I will try to read. Okay. Chocolate. Caramel, chocolate pure caramel and chocolate both sizes starting with six pieces, seven dollars. Okay, good, thank you. Questions about the vocabulary? I think it's pretty straightforward, but any questions? No? Okay. All right, let's move on to the next one. The last one, chocolate dipped 
nugget. All right, uh, who would like to help me with this one? Okay, how about if Janet? Janet, can you help me with the last one? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Chocolate dip nugget. Our chocolate dip nugget is made from our old fashioned nugget candy receipt and contains just the right combination of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Uh, $7. Okay, very good. All right. Any questions um, about the vocabulary? Dipped, dipped, chocolate dipped. 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 Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, where is it? Ah, dipped. Okay. Yep. Dip means that it's like uh, when you like you have uh, like the chocolate here and you put it boom in the chocolate and take it out. Okay, mm -hmm. so you just make, okay. make sure that the whatever it is is covered in the chocolate. Like think about like mm -hmm. a like a like a, a popsicle, right? Okay, or um, so you. Take it, you put it in, or think of it, I'll, I'll make it easier, a choco banana. Okay, mm -hmm. think of it a choco banana. Okay. okay, choco banana, you have the banana, <laughs> you dip it, and you take it out. And then it's covered. Oh, okay, covered, okay. Yeah. All right, any other words? Okay. No? Okay. All right. Good. So now that we, we've seen the four different types of chocolate that um, they have, I want you to complete the... chart for us. Okay, so I want you to write the name of the chocolate the code according to this, the size, the ingredients, the weight, and the price per unit. Now, this is going to, um, some of the information you might have to uh, invent, right? Not every, like there's some of vocabulary is not there. Okay, so, uh, sorry, sorry, some information is not there. So you're gonna have to kind of like invent it with your classmate. So we're going to get you to work in pairs, and I want you to complete this with a partner, okay? Complete the chart, and, and, ojo con esto. Oh, hold on. Let me erase this. Okay. And uh, we're also going to be doing this one. We're going to be... Um, you're going to be thinking of two more examples for chocolates that you would like to create okay so uh, we have four chocolates there i want you to, to think about two more chocolates that you would like to create with your partner okay and you're going to complete the chart for those two examples okay so you're going to talk about so for those two other um, chocolates you're going to complete this chart here. So you're gonna write the name, the code, the size, box with six units, ingredients, weight, price per unit. Okay, got it? Is that clear? So we will, we will write about six kinds of chocolate. Yeah, in, in total, the we'll four. Be yeah, the four that are here and two. And two Ah. Okay. What is the weight? The weight is um, el peso. Uh, but in the receipt. Sorry? In the recetillas. 
no hay, no hay peso. Yeah, like I said, you, some information you're going to have to kind of invent. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. So not, not everything is here. Okay, so you're just going to have to invent something. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, all right. So I'm going to get you to work in pairs, but we're going to have new pair partners. So just give me a second while I create the rooms. Okay, so open it. I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Okay, so go ahead and join your group. Sorry, your partner. But in some cases, groups. Cover el caramelo. Yeah. Y el otro sería Deep Snow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number four. Is uh, chocolate yes. deep nuggets. Pa para el spice peanut toffee. Yeah, spine is spicy peanut toffee. Um, En, bueno, uh, este, en ingredientes que podemos poner, ¿verdad? Que dice es nuestro spice. Eh, yeah, toffee is made with butter, uh, butter toffee, roasted peanuts, ajá, butter, eh, cayenne, chili pepper. No sé de mucho, la verdad. <risa> okay. No he practicado mucho, pero vos sientes de fútbol, soy la. Ah, pero obligatoriamente tuve que más o menos entender, ¿no? Vaya, pero, pero entender. Ya, sí, un poco. Ah, Por lo menos vale. sé que si meten el gol, vamos ganando. Dios guarde. <risa> <risa> Chistosa. Ok, ok. 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 Es, hey, eh, eh, vamos eh, a hacer este, ¿verdad? Ok. Let's work. Let's so, go. let's, let's, as we are three, let's take a turn. If you want, we can start, we can take one. So, Werner, Give us and guide us how to fulfill the first one. ¿Y esto qué es? Tenemos que ir llenando los componentes según lo va haciendo, pero como somos tres, agarremos uno cada uno. Yes, pero después three. tenemos que inventar este, tenemos que inventar el nombre de alguno que nosotros querramos crear. Ingredientes. Yes. The... Por ejemplo, ahorita agarremos uno cada uno para la descripción. Vaya, Werner, okay. ¿cuál vas a agarrar? Decinos, Number... dianos, dictanos, Number... ¿qué poner? Number two. <laughs> turtle candles. Turtle candles. Yes. Okay, name turtle candles. Yes, yes. Candies. Okay, aha, uh -huh. el code. ¿Qué code le quieres poner? Uh, code. Uh, English, one, three, one, I'm three, sorry? Four. One, three, four. Why do you keep it in English? Yes, we need to practice in English. We are trying yes. right now. Okay, the code you said, I'm sorry? Spicy peanut toffee, 
um, cold, uh, tres, seis, ocho, three, six, eight. Sorry, teacher. Why is it sorry? <laughs> Size. Uh, Fabiola, is there any problem with the camera? Se le había olvidado. Um, no, no problem. Uh, Fabiola, I just have a question. Today you are supposed to have your session, your um, your ten minutes of session. Are you going to be able to stay? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, wonderful. All right. Okay, continue, girls. Thank you. Uh, size. Uh -huh. Size. Okay. Um, five. Uh, le five unity box. Um, box. Teacher, I have a question. Ah, yeah. Help us, please. Stop. Uh, <laughs> And the size box with six units, what I do? Uh, what is the size the box that has the box that it contains six units? Of yeah, but, but yeah. The, the number one side, the spicy peanut toffee, uh, no specific date. No. With you're piece. going to have to invent some information. You're going to have to invent some. Oh, okay. But, but what, key, what can we put here? Some yes or no? If this is a question or we no, have to it's not a question. write it's a paragraph. The size, the size, la, el tamaño. Ajá, pero tenemos no. que poner el sí o no. Por ejemplo, hay unos que se dicen seis piezas. No sé si tenemos que poner alguna no. descripción. No, no. Um, what they're saying is, what is the size? ¿Cuál es el tamaño? So, what is the size for the six units? Mm -hmm. So, there is a box, a box that contains six units. Oh. What is yeah. the size of the box? O sea, ¿Cuál es el tamaño de esa caja que contiene seis unidades? Mm -hmm. So, you can. Sigo sin entender. O sea, sí. Es... Uh, ajá, yo pensé que o sea, me que estaba sí. diciendo, ajá, pensé que decía que este, nosotros vamos a poner, por ejemplo, si es una caja que contiene 12 unidades. No. no. Cuando se refiere a las medidas, ¿so ¿es cuánto mide o, uh -huh. o si es la mediana, pequeña, la grande? Um. I don't know if it's something like Jimmy, for me. Um, la, yes, la cafetera um, y yeah, agua, say, for example, if it has like six pieces or it has more pieces or you keep them, I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, something uh, like this is the size. This is the size. Uh, the box. Yeah, like um, how many? Like in the box, does it contain six pieces or eight pieces or ten pieces? Yeah. Okay. Así como así como yo había dicho entonces. So, así como acá cuatro piezas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, Twelve pies pieces. Uh, wait. What size in your hands? Bottle, butterfly caramel, and a bot butterfly. <laughs> but, but, uh, so the weight butter butter uh, 
And, and the weight is 1.86. ¿Cómo se dice onza, mis? Onzas, onzas. Onzas, onzas. 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 ¿Cuántas? ¿Qué otro producto podemos sacar? ¿Questions, guys? Uh -huh. ¿Qué otro producto? Teacher, two, two products, two products or four products? Two. Two. Two, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, ¿Qué le parece? Chocolate with, with bean. Not choco, banana with bean. No? Choco bananas with beans. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, I have tried um, a popsicle with beans. Mm. I have tried it. In, back in Canada, I remember I bought a, um, I, I, I bought a popsicle thinking that it was chocolate. And it was not chocolate, it was beans. So, yes, it, that, it, no, I did, I did, I personally didn't like it. But no, uh, no, no, personally, no, I didn't. But, you know, some people, some people may like it. So, okay. I, but yeah, I mean, chocolate, uh, so, so chocolate with beans. Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on, wait a sec. Is it a chocolate with a, a cocoa bean or a, a kidney bean? Oh, sorry, uh, is it? Uh, it's frijol? Mm -hmm. oh, no. Ah, no. Oh. No, 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 sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> DJ, no, 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 Peanuts. Ah, uh -huh. peanuts. Por eso le okay. wow. Okay, hoy sí. Very exotic. <laughs> con frijoles. <laughs> Choco banano con yeah. frijoles, no mucho. Está <laughs> so bueno eso. Aunque hay, hay, ¿cómo se llama? Como dice el dicho, ¿verdad? Para gusto los colores. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Así que. <laughs> hay quien posiblemente le, le pueda gustar. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Edgar, okay. Uh, Okay. All right, guys, are you finished? Yeah, teacher. Yeah? Okay, we're going to check the answers for this quickly. Um, all right, so the first one, what is the name of the first one? Spicy peanut toffee. Spicy peanut toffee. Good. Spicy peanut toffee. Toffee. Uh 
Okay, good. That's the first one. All right, and so um, what is the code? You can you make up a code, okay? So this one doesn't, it doesn't mention it, so you can make up a code. I'll make up a code. <clears throat> There you go. There's the code. I'm, I'm just saying anything. Okay. Um, do we know the size? Do we know the size of the of the box? No, right? So we can twelve centimeters. Uh -huh. With twelve centimeters by ten or by four. <laughs> Two centimeters. Uh, we, we wrote snack size. Is that correct? Could be size, snack size, yeah, okay. Uh, we can also write there um, that it comes in a um, uh, box with um, 10 units. Ah, okay. Or could be the size of the box. Like, like I'm, ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, let me just make it smaller. Not too small. Okay, there you go. All right, so let's go talk about the ingredients. What ingredients do we have? Butter toffee. Roasted peanut. Okay, so we have, uh, okay, so we have butter, toffee. Uh, we have peanuts and chili pepper. And cayenne chili pepper. Cayenne chili pepper. Okay. Good. All right. So these are just some of the ingredients that are. Okay. All right. Let's talk about now weight. You know the weight? Um, oh. 100 grams could be 100 pounds grams grams oh okay yeah. <laughs> no <Wow. laughs> it's too big pounds <laughs> okay all right so it could be 100 grams sure price per unit what's the cost so right 7.50 Okay, good. All right, what's the name of the second product? Turtle candies. Turtle candies. Turtle candies. Turtle candies. Good. And what is the code? Well, like I said, I'm just gonna make up some to well, not too much. Um, Okay, so that's the code, let's say. Size? Box size. Yeah, how many pieces? Six pieces. Six pieces, good. All right, ingredients. Barbecue caramel. Good, okay, so butter. Caramel. What else? Fresh roasted pecans. Okay. Pecans. Fresh roasted pecans. What else? And dark or milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Dark or milk chocolate. Okay, good. Wait. Well, we can put different weight. I don't know. 350 grams. 350 grams. Okay. What's the price? Six dollars and 30 cents. 60, sorry, six, six dollars. Six dollars. Yes. Okay, good. Next is
The next one is? Chocolate, chocolate covered, caramel. covered caramel. Good, chocolate covered caramel. caramels. Okay, good, and what's the code? Well, we can make up the code. Okay, and size? Box pieces. Also six pieces, good. Okay, and ingredients? Just caramel and chocolate. Just chocolate. Yeah, okay. Um, sorry, caramel and chocolate. Okay, there you go. All right, wait. Maybe, I don't know, 225 grams. Price per unit. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Good. Okay, and finally we have the last one, which is What's the name. Chocolate. Chocolate. This chocolate. Deep nugget. Nugget. Good. Dipped nugget. Nugget. Okay, good. And what is the code? Well, we can make that up too. Okay, and size? Size, well, we can make up the size, right? Because it doesn't say. So let's make it, um, let's make it uh, five pieces. Okay, ingredients? Honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Honey? Almonds? Almonds, vanilla, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Uh, what is the weight? Let's say it's 300 grams. And what is the price? $7. Right, $7. There you go. Okay, so it should look something similar to this. Okay, that's what it should look like. Any questions? Uh, not by now. Anything you want to ask before we finish off? No. No? Okay. All right, guys. So this um, is a completion of the types of of um, chocolate. Now, what I want you guys to do for next class is you're going to be presenting the other two chocolates that you created. Okay, so that will be for next class. So don't forget who your partner is. Okay, it's because we're going to be doing that next class so tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Uh, don't forget to do the homework for up to um, homework number five. And I'm just going to ask uh, Fabiola to stay behind. She has the tutoring session and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Uh, see you then, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. everybody. <clears throat>
Okay. Any questions? Um, Fabiola, do you have any problems? Any questions you wanna? Eh, al teacher, yo quisiera de verdad lo que más quisiera hablar, no tener el vocabulario para hablar en inglés, pero quisiera que complicado. Ajá, no, no sé qué puedo hacer porque siento de que sí como que ya me estanqué, vea. Ajá. Y con respecto a, a las clases, creo que sí, no, no, no he como estudiado aparte, vea. Pero no, sobre eso no tengo ni, ninguna duda por el momento, pero sí con el vocabulario siento de que, y es el mismo sentir de varios compañeros, algo no, que como que no estamos en el nivel de los demás compañeros, vea, porque sí como que saben un poquito más, bueno, muchísimo más, y no sé cómo que podemos, bueno, en mi, eh, eh, en mi caso, ¿qué puedo hacer? como para aprender más vocabulario y aunque tenga que hacer algo extra voy a tratar de hacer este, el esfuerzo porque a veces sí, este, la jornada es como que un poco complicada uh -huh. pero sí necesito aprender <risa> más vocabulario aparte a, a de, de, de lo del manual ok Bye. Um, lo que puedo hacer es mandarle le voy a Voy a compartir con usted un link, un, un enlace eh, en donde usted puede ir a practicar um, más. Eh, bueno, ahí plantamos dos páginas de un solo. Bueno, tres páginas de un solo tiro. Uh -huh. Porque eh, son ejercicios para poder practicar la audición. Y entonces um, ahí está la, tanto la parte para escuchar como también para ir siguiendo el guión. Entonces ahí we practice listening and reading, but we also look at the vocabulary. So ahí se, se enumera bastante vocabulario para que usted vaya aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. la idea es de que no solamente usted vea el vocabulario, sino que también lo vea cómo se utiliza en contexto. Uh -huh. Esa es la idea. Sí, porque yo siento que a mí me cuesta bastante, pero hay palabras como que se me habían olvidado, más que todo, ¿no? Que se me habían olvidado. Uh -huh. Y ya lo, ayuda bastante a los compañeros que saben mucho, ¿verdad? Porque si no la palabra, allá la busco, ya la anoto y trato de memorizarla porque como que tengo una memoria a corto plazo. Uh -huh. O es el estrello, no sé, tantas cosas. Entonces, no, no siento, pasa. Ajá, siento que sí me hace falta más vocabulario. Y más que todo eso, y, y no sé, algún, algún consejo que me pueda dar usted para de verdad aprender, porque no, no quiero estar solo así como por pasar el tiempo y no aprender. Ya son dos okay. horas. Vale. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo estamos con las prácticas fuera de clase? Lo, lo único que hago, teacher, es alguna palabra que veo traducirla, pero me pongo a pensar cuál es la pronunciación. Me pongo a Google, vea. Pero quizás es de memorizar todo, en inglés es de memorizar. Vea. Vale, porque si lo piensa, Fabiola, acuérdese que lo, ¿cuál, ¿cuál es su objetivo de aprender inglés? Ay, tengo como que dos opciones. La primera es... Eh, ascender en la empresa y en caso de verdad agotar todas las probabilidades y no se puede ahí eh, tal vez trabajar no sé, okay. en algo que, ajá, que, que se hable mucho inglés y cuando usted dice que quiere escalar en la empresa ¿qué es lo que estaría haciendo usted? ¿Qué necesitaría en inglés? Tal vez en un área de ventas que es como que más... Es que está como por áreas ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces es el on-prime, le llamo. 
Entonces, no sé, yo siento de que, que el recurso humano o algún jefe tal vez tome en cuenta, ya puede ir. Yo supongo. Ah, ok, pero cuando dice que, que en ventas, o sea, estamos hablando de que usted estaría, uh, a, estaría contratando con clientes extranjeros. No, son de aquí, pero eh, bueno, algunas veces sí sería cita extranjera. O podría, okay. Ajá, porque la otra opción sería para mí como un consente, al más no ver, y, 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 y tiene que ver con venta también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Va, entonces, va. la razón por qué le pregunto es porque necesitamos entender cuál es el contexto que nosotros normalmente, o sea, para qué estamos tratando de, de, de envolvernos, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros um, estamos hablando de que hay una venta y es con, un extra, con una persona del extranjero, entonces significa que usted va a estar utilizando el idioma para, con, para conversar en inglés. Pero usted está usándolo no para hablar con, o sea, usted está, quiere aprender el idioma no para hablar con un compañero, ¿verdad? O sea, no usted, usted no, no es, su objetivo en la vida no es, voy a aprender inglés para practicar con un compañero en la clase. O sea, no es su objetivo. Su objetivo es, voy a aprender inglés para poder tener una conversación con una persona que hable inglés, que sea nativa del inglés. ¿Sí? Ok. Entonces, como su objetivo es, a, es a practicarlo afuera de clase, entonces precisamente eso es lo que tiene que hacer. Uh -huh. Sí, o sea, si usted lo quiere para, para poder hablar con una persona del extranjero, entonces necesita poder practicar con una persona. Entonces eso es precisamente lo que necesita hacer. Tiene que aprender a, a buscar formas de poder comunicarse con alguien en inglés. No necesariamente un extranjero, ¿verdad? Pero sí practicar verbalmente, porque así es lo que usted estaría haciendo, precisamente lo que estaría haciendo. O sea, su, para, para, ese es el enfoque suyo. Entonces, uh -huh. tiene, que buscar una, eh, tiene que buscar manera de poder practicar. Entonces, la pregunta es, ¿ha hecho usted alguna lista? de personas con quien usted podría practicar. Sí, pero no son muchas. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Son como tres personas. Cuatro. Ok. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Pues utiliza esos recursos que usted tiene. Sí, es... lo único es que, que, ajá, es que como que me da penita porque no tengo vocabulario. Así que yo es que mire, o sea, Pena, todos empezaron con pena. Um, y la persona con quien usted va a practicar, ¿está a su mismo nivel? O... No, sabe bastante. Ok. ¿Y cuando esa persona empezó a, en el nivel donde usted está, sabía bastante? Una de las personas. No, no. No, ¿verdad? O sea, todos tenemos que aprender, tenemos que empezar de cero, toditos, todos empezamos de cero. Entonces, no se sienta mal porque usted no sabe tanto, porque obviamente esa persona también para poder llegar a donde está ahorita, tuvo que empezar también de cero, al igual que usted. ¿Verdad? Ah, no, 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 no es tanto que me sienta mal, sino que como que es una peñita y, y me cohibe todo eso, y como que... Ah. Si lo digo mal, mire, teacher, yo quisiera hablar, o sea, <ríe> igual que los demás compañeros, porque hay varios que, que saben bastante, pero por lo menos nos está ayudando que, que hay algunas palabras que ya como que uno las va agarrando, o ya las sabía, pero como no va practicando, se le olvida. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correcto, entonces tiene, o sea, la, y, hay un dicho que dice que, que uh, ay, como, no me acuerdo cómo, cómo dice bien, pero la gente tiene que hay que tirarse el agua, ¿verdad? Para nadar, para poder aprender a nadar. No, no, ¿cómo, cómo va a aprender usted a nadar solo, solo metiendo los pies al agua? 
¿Va? Y que y nos, da, nos da miedo en la piscina, ¿verdad? En la parte, cuando uno no, no sabe nadar, le da miedo una piscina grande y eh, profunda. Sí, sí, le da miedo. Pero no por el miedo, usted se va a quedar ahí solamente con sus pies en, en el agua. ¿Verdad? Porque si no, nunca va a aprender a, a nadar. Entonces, lo mismo sucede con esto. Eh, tiene que tirarse el agua. ¿Ok? Porque la única manera de, ser un, de hacerse experto en algo es haciendo, practicándolo. Ningún experto nació experto. Todo experto tuvo que pensar de algún lugar. Todo experto le costaba al principio. Yo oh. pienso, pienso, teacher, y, y a veces es como que hace una pena, pero yo no voy a seguir hasta que aprenda. <risa> yo no me voy a rendir, voy a seguir. Y esa es la actitud. Esa es la actitud. No, pero no, se no, tiene, no, tiene no, que, no, acuérdense, y sabe que algo, algo que le puede ayudar es tener un recordatorio visual. Eh, ponga, ponga sus metas en un lugar que sea muy visual para usted. ¿Verdad? En alguna parte de su casa, lo que sea. Póngalo ahí para que usted se acuerde. Y ese recordatorio visual va a ayudarle a decir, ah, ¿y qué he hecho el día de hoy para poder llegar a esa meta? ¿Verdad? Y si no ha hecho nada en este momento, pues entonces hay, es momento de hacerlo. Um, otra, eh, otra, bueno, um, yo le voy a, voy a mandar ahí en los pasos para que usted pueda buscar el vocabulario y va a ver que eso le va a ayudar bastante. También hay aplicaciones que usted puede bajar a su teléfono eh, que, que le ayuda para poder uh, incrementar su vocabulario y todo. Así que también puede buscar eso en, ¿verdad? en no sé, en los um, diferentes, por ejemplo, Play Store, o, o sea, donde sea, en la um, Apple Store, no sé, no sé, dependiendo ahí cuál, cuál sea su teléfono, ¿verdad? Pero puede buscar aplicaciones que le puedan ayudar para poder incrementar su vocabulario. Entonces, todos los días puede ir practicando nuevas palabras. Pero de nada sirve aprender un montón de palabras si no la practica. Pues sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, usted puede saber, uf, puede saber cientos de, 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 de palabras, pero si no las utiliza, igual se le va a ir. No lo va a aprender. Entonces, tiene que tirarse al agua. Pierda ese miedo. Que el miedo solo es al principio. ¿Ok? El, 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 lo más difícil es al principio. Después de eso, pasa. Media vez tenga el vocabulario, voy a hablar. No, no. No. Media vez, o sea, no. No necesita tanto vocabulario para hablar. O sea, eh, con el vocabulario que usted sabe, quieres uh -huh. hablar con eso. Pues, o sea, voy a y después, cuando usted ya maneje bien ese vocabulario, agregue más. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Vaya. O sea, hágase, hágase experta con lo poco que usted sabe. Y ya cuando uh -huh. usted sepa eso, entonces ya puede ir agrandando, ¿verdad? Pero como digo, de nada, de nada eh, le sirve tener un montón de vocabulario y que usted no, no, no lo veo utilizando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, necesita aprender bien el vocabulario que ya sabe. Y después, cuando ya lo sepa bien, agrega más y se hace experta en ese nuevo vocabulario. Y poco a poco vamos agrandando el círculo. Vaya, dicho. ¿Ok? Ay, gracias. Sí, gracias. Y le voy a mandar ahí en los enlaces. Ok, um, ya me ha mandado. Sí, mandar. ya le escribí. Pero si quiere le mando otra vez. Porque Ajá, me... por favor, porque a veces se me pierden. Ajá. Ok. Vaya, yo se lo mando. Ok. ¿Ahora o mañana? Ahorita. Mándeme Ahora. antes que se me olvide. Ok. Ahora. All right, take care, Fabiola. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night.